in today's episode. Oh my, better than ketamine this is. If stupidity was an art form, you would be a masterpiece. So you're a shiny Beyblade. Well, even a three-legged elephant is technically still a four-legged elephant. Hmm, by any chance, Dark Lord of the Sith Garmadon isn't? Wait, are you telling me that your arch-nemesis's true name is actually Tom Riddle? Yeah. Voldemort is just his bad guy pseudonym. Honestly, it sounds rather ludicrous. What's next? Jerry the Mediocre? Or Bob the Mildly Inconvenient? It's not the name that makes the villain, it's his deeds. As for Tom Riddle, what misdeeds could someone with such a mundane name have possibly committed? Forget to pay a parking ticket? Neglect to assist an elderly lady across the street? I mean, Gandalf has the point. Apologies. Late I am. That's fine, Master Yoda. Ugwe is also delayed. Late I am, because of my search for Sith Lord. Oh, that's right. How is the search for the Sith Lord going? Terribly. The search goes. No clue have we found. But under our noses, I sense he hides. Clouded, my judgment is, by the dark side. Unsure, I am. What to do next? Hmm. Well, when I don't know what to do, I usually sit with a good cup of jasmine tea and clear my mind. Or eat a full roast duck on one sitting, ha 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 ha. It has pretty much the same effect. Now, I have a query for you all, my friends. Hogwarts faces a shortage in staff, and I wonder if any of you might be interested in a position. Gandalf, perchance? Would you consider taking up the role of defense against the dark arts teacher? Why do I have a feeling that there is a catch? Um, no, no catch to speak of except for the unfortunate curse upon the position, ensuring no teacher remains for more than a year. That would be quite a big catch, Dumbledore. So, how about part-time? I think I'll pass on this opportunity. Very well. What about you, Yoda? Didn't you mention your ability to manipulate objects with your mind? You would excel in teaching charms, particularly levitation. Decline, I must. Teach how to use the Force. I can only to those sensitive to it. Um, the Force? Kidding, are you? Last time explained I did how the Force functions. Yeah, I guess I wasn't listening. As sharp as butter knife, your mind is. How in the hell did you manage to get the Headmaster position? No one else wanted it. Hey guys, sorry for being late. Welcome, my turtle friend. What kept you? I had to blow out the candles. Nevertheless, look who I ran into on my way here. Hmm, you were right, Ugwe. This place really radiates inner peace. Oh, hello, fellas. Hello, stranger. Where did you find him, Ugwe? He was just wandering around. Well, hello there, my blocky friend. You have a somewhat peculiar body structure. That's because a Lego minifigure. He is. What in the first master of Spinjitsu is Lego? You are Lego. Well, perhaps I am. That would explain the weird multiple finger hands of yours. Weird hands? Saying the guy with only two thumbs. What's your name, stranger? You haven't introduced yourself yet. Oh, silly me. My name is Sensei Wu, the second-born son of the first master of Spinjitsu. And who are you, if I may ask? Ugwe, you already know. My name is Gandalf. This is Yoda, Iroh, and Dumbledore. We call ourselves the Council of Wise. A little arrogant, isn't it? Well, a little bit, I guess. But we wanted this to sound majestic. Whatever. Perhaps can any of you tell me why I'm here? Ask the universe. For some reason, it brought us together in this peculiar place. We have a working theory that it's because we're wise old men with special abilities. Well, by looking at you, I can clearly say you're old. And by looking at you, I can clearly tell you are the dumb one here. Excuse me? If stupidity was an art form, you would be a masterpiece. I like this guy. What a roast. Strong tongue, this one has. A sense of humor is a sign of wisdom. That's another check mark. And what about some supernatural abilities? Well, I am the master of Spinjitsu. Spinjitsu? That sounds like some sort of martial art. Something like that. Look, Ninja Go. 
Oh, mighty are your powers. Mighty, indeed. So you're a shiny Beyblade. How dare you insult Spinjitsu? If ignorance was a weapon, you'd be a walking arsenal. Wait, what is a Beyblade? I'm just saying, I've seen smoother moves from a three-legged elephant on ice. Well, even a three-legged elephant is technically still a four-legged elephant. Oh. Oh, come on. Why, Ugwe? Wait, what? I don't get it. What a shocker. Let's change the topic, shall we? Tell us more about yourself, Wu. Well, what more could I tell you about myself? I am a master of the elemental ninjas. Elemental ninjas? Yeah, each of my students has the ability to control one element. Black controls earth, red fire, and so on. Oh, so a firebender, in other words. I guess so. And the leader of my ninjas is the green ninja. The mightiest of them all. And what element does green ninja control? His element is, um, green. Green? Yeah, green. Can't you be more specific? It's just green. But green is not element. Look, I don't even know how this stuff actually works. His power is green, and that's it. That's fine by me. I have heard a lot of stories about the ninjas. They are skilled warriors. I would say just as skilled as the Furious Five. Furious Five? An elite group of warriors who protect the Valley of Peace. And are they animals just like you? Yeah, there is Tigris, Monkey, Mantis, Crane, and Viper. Cool! And what are their names? Those are their names. Um, no, they're animal species, those are. And their names as well. Wait, are you telling me that you have original name, but the Furious Five only have names based on their species? Hmm, I have actually never thought about that. When it comes to names, I've seen more creativity in a bowl of oatmeal. Wouldn't that be a little bit confusing? Not really. 90% of people in my world are pigs and ducks. You rarely encounter a different species. I, for example, have not seen a tortoise chick in hundreds of years. And I am so thirsty. This is so wrong on so many levels. But there is one thing Ugwe is right in. My ninjas are mighty warriors. They have defeated many enemies, like snakes, a stone army, noodle salesmen. Did you just say a noodle salesman? Yeah, Master Chen. But he eventually turned into a snake as well. Then there were ghosts, and once they fought an actual genie. Impressive. My ninjas have even defeated my brother, the Dark Lord Garmadon. Garmadon? Hmm, by any chance, Dark Lord of the Sith Garmadon isn't? A Sith? Not as far as I know, but he is an Oni. An Oni? A demon of destruction. Hmm, okay. Write that as maybe a Sith Lord. I will. But guys, tell me also something about yourself. Like why is Dumbledore wearing pajamas? Did you come from a retirement home? For your information, I'm the headmaster of the most prestigious wizarding school in my world. They let you teach? Oh boy. But that still doesn't explain why you dress like a sleepy ghost. It's a wizarding robe, you ignorant piece of plastic. And why are you picking on my attire? What about someone like Ugwe, who doesn't even wear pants? My jeans are still in the wash. Let me check. Yeah, they're almost clean. What jeans do you wear? Wrangler Slim Fit. Size 34-35. Well, this conversation is getting a little dizzy. Time to get some long-bottom leaves. Long-bottom leaves, huh? May I try some? Okay, but be careful. It has quite a kick. Oh my, better than ketamine this is. Yeah, the Shire is a great place to find quality weed. Can I borrow some? For my shower thoughts, I want to use it. Sure, my little green friend. Here is the contact for my dealer in the Shire. Just say Gandalf sends you. You'll get a discount. Let me try it as well. Oh, wow. Not bad, Gandalf, but still, I prefer a good cup of ginseng tea. I agree with Iroh. There is nothing better than a good cup of tea. You are tea lover as well, huh? 
Want to try some of my tea? Sure. Oh my. This is the worst cup of tea I have ever drank. If disappointment had a flavor, it would taste like your tea. What? How dare you insult my tea? And how dare you call this a tea? Drinking this is like sipping sadness from a cup. You wouldn't recognize a good cup of tea even if I splashed it on your face. Calm down, guys. It's not that big of a deal. After all, tea is just hot leaf juice. How can a member of this council say something so horrible? Well, it was nice to meet you guys, but I better be on my way. I think I left the kettle with an actual tea on the fire. <laughs> sure you did. So bye, guys. I might visit you again soon. And with this, we will end today's episode, our dear viewers. Please give it a like or subscribe to this channel where you can find new videos like these every single week. See you soon, and as always, for the Republic.